now your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Well, we had some very heavy rain out there earlier today and this evening. Now most of it pushing away from the metro. Here's a live look outside. We're actually starting to get some breaks in the clouds. Yeah, what do we see there in the sky? It's the moon trying to show its face through the clouds out there. So we're starting to get breaks as the rain pushes away from the area. Still can't rule out a few showers as we head through tonight. But overall, we're going to be drying out slowly tonight, but more rain likely into your Sunday. 73 degrees, the current temperature. It says it's raining, but at the airport, it's beginning to dry out. The dew point 71, that humidity pretty high up high, uh, so definitely a muggy night. 88 was the high, so we had enough sunshine at times to make that temperature get close to 90, and then it just plummeted as the rain pushed in. We got almost an inch of rain at the airport, but some areas had even more than that. Check this map out. Rainfall totals the past 24 hours. We have some pink showing up where four to six inches of rain fell, six to 10 inches of rain just northeast of Madison, three to four inches between Scottsburg and Seymour. So that's where we had some of the heaviest rain. But zooming into the metro, we had about an inch to two inches, depending on where you live. So Shively, south and west over toward Corden, one to two, Clarksville. Uh, J Town around an inch of rain. So overall, a very wet day out there, especially this evening and early tonight. Temperatures out the door in the upper 60s and low 70s. Dew points are quite high, very sticky. Low 70s for most of us. Now, what's the reason for this rainy weather? We do have an approaching cold front to the north. That's not really bringing most of the rain. And then we have a low pressure down toward Memphis. And we also have an upper level low north of there. So those lows are kind of sitting and spinning just to our west, and that's providing the moisture across our region. We'll zoom in, just show you where that rain is right now. The heaviest rain still over uh, toward Frankfurt, east of there toward Lexington. Most of our viewing area beginning to see the heaviest rain taper down. You can see some showers lingering across southern Indiana. We'll zoom in even more to the metro drying out here in downtown Louisville, and that will be the case through tonight. A few showers possible, but the heavy rain, most of the heaviest rain will be confined to the afternoon and daytime hours uh, for this holiday weekend. We still have a few flash flood warnings over towards Spencer County, also over towards Shelby County, Franklin County, and east of there. So these flash flood warnings will linger for another hour or two, and then they will expire as we head through the rest of tonight and as we continue to dry out. So just a few showers left over tonight, 70 degrees for that forecast low temperature. Some of us could drop below that. Some of us already in the upper 60s. Heading into tomorrow, just like today, lots of clouds, maybe some peaks of sun, but I think we're gonna have more clouds tomorrow compared to today and occasional showers and some storms, highs near 80. Futurecast kicks the heavy rain out of here tonight, but here comes the next round, Sunday morning, mostly dry. There will be a few showers around and then it's the afternoon hours during the heating of the day, all the mugginess. That's when we see most of the showers kind of popping up through the day on Sunday. And then Monday just looks like another day with rounds of moisture pushing through the area and a lot of clouds too. When do we break free of this wet pattern? Well, it looks like we're going to keep scattered showers in the forecast through Tuesday. Then finally, by the middle of this upcoming week, we'll get some breaks in the clouds. The return to a little bit of sunshine, especially Thursday, Friday. And by then, just isolated chances for showers and storms and temperatures cooler, only in the low 80s. So no 90s the next seven days, but still pretty muggy. You know what the good thing about that is? What? You have rain most of the forecast, so we're not gonna We do have, need the rain. We're not gonna have the people that say, oh, I wish it would have been nice on Monday. Cause you know what? It's gonna rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. See, every day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> But Daniel. someone will complain. <laughs> they always do.